Back with another Ask Todd V, and we have a special guest. This is James, all the way over from Europe, where he does a lot of coaching for me. He also coaches online through calls and coaches on the mentorship program as well. So, um, does a lot of work for me and does an amazing, amazing job at it. I thought I'd bring him on as a guest and ask him the question. So today, instead of Ask Todd, we have an Ask James. And the question is, and by the way, he has not heard this question before, so he's going completely raw. What are the most common mistakes beginners make when opening and closing? biggest mistake that beginners make when they're opening a lot of the time it's not one mistake it's a combination of three and they're all combined the first thing is they're not speaking loudly enough the second thing is they're speaking way too quickly and they don't have any pauses in what they're saying they just they say the whole thing really quickly and the third thing is that they do not hold eye contact and when you combine these three things together Man, it makes the... You could throw an approach angle too. That's another like, Actually, mix that, of the Yeah, that's true. Too. That's true. Yeah. yeah, the approach angle, that definitely, uh, that definitely plays into the mix as well. But man, I can't even believe how many times I've said this to guys. Like when you have those three or four things just all locked down under control, it like exponentially improves the quality and the success rate of your opens. It's so, so, so important. Um, so that's opening. When it comes to closing... The first mistake that a lot of beginners make is they just don't try. They simply don't try. They just eject from the interaction because they don't know what to do next. So uh, the first fix to that mistake is just try to close. And uh, a little mindset tip with that is that if you try to close and the girl like rejects it or she says no for whatever reason, you should still be more proud of the fact that you tried to close than that you just like ejected out of discomfort. Um, so the first, Don't reject yourself, right? Exactly, 100%. So the first thing is just try to close. Uh, the second mistake, I wouldn't say it's even a mistake, but I'd just say like it's a beginner way that they can improve. Um, it's very common that guys won't close under the premise of we're, getting, we're exchanging contact details to see each other again in the future. It's very common that they'll be like, oh yeah, so anyway, um, I've got to go, but are you on Instagram? Or hey, yeah, I've got to go, but uh, maybe I can grab your number really quickly. Um, and they're not saying, for example, hey, yeah, look, uh, I've got to go. Obviously, you're busy too, but it was cool talking to you. Um, maybe we can try to hang out at some other point in the future when we're both free. And now you're establishing the reason that we're exchanging contact details is because we would continue this conversation right now, but the reason we're not is because you know either one of us or both of us are busy. So let's exchange contact details so we can meet in the future and then continue this conversation and interaction and hopefully move it to somewhere more favorable. Absolutely huge. Yeah. And so they're probably getting, guys are getting, first of all, probably fewer numbers, but also way more flakes mm -hmm. because of that. Yeah, 100%. Sure. Yeah, if you can get the girl to like verbally agree to the idea of hanging out with you in the future, it makes a big difference. Definitely, definitely makes a big difference. So yeah. Awesome. And there you have it from someone who's been on boot camp over and over again taught tons and tons of students and seen the sticking points up close. These are the things guys are doing wrong. If you are doing these things wrong, please stop, right? Please. <laughs> get, get your tonality, get your rhythm on the open, get your, your um, angle right, get all that. And then definitely you have to close. If you don't close, it's not going anywhere. Absolutely. All right. Thanks again, James. I appreciate it. Again, works with me all over the world, especially Europe, but also sometimes in the US and everywhere. Um, so thanks again. Appreciate having you here. Thank you. And I will see you guys on the next video. Thanks, guys. See you later.